Have you got any idea how an obelisk erected in the middle of Egypt? Ended up more than 3,000 years later, here, in the middle of Paris. When you go down the Chaz Elysees, you will come face to face with an Egyptian obelisk. Like many Parisians, you may have wondered how that obelisk has arrived at Place de la Concorde, literally in the middle of Paris. Nearly 75 feet in height, and 250 tons. This imposing column of pink granite has more than 3,000 years of history. And let me tell you one thing. Its journey to stand here has been a true epic. Originally, a pair of obelisks were standing on either side of the portal of the Luxor Temple in Egypt. Temple order by Ramses II, in the 13th century BC. The whole story started in 1829. When Mehmed Ali, the ruler of Egypt, decided to offer a very cumbersome gift to France. Two obelisks from Ramses a temple, as a gesture of friendship. Fifteen years later in return France offers Egypt a copper clock, still visible on the Cairo citadel. For the anecdote, it has never worked, probably having been damaged during transport. Faced with multiple constraints, the French government decided to bring back at first only one of the two obelisks offered, the one located to the right of the entrance. The second was never repatriated to France, and was officially returned to Egypt in 1981, by François Mitterrand, the French president. To transport this colossus of 230 tons, a boat was specially designed, the Luxor. He was thought to be able to go up the Seine, the Mediterranean, the Atlantic, and the Nile. Also, it had to be long enough without being too high, to be able to pass under the bridges of Paris. But when the Luxor arrived in Egypt, big problem. The workers realized that the obelisk was way too heavy to be lifted into the boat. The only solution was to cut out the front of the boat, bring the obelisk in, and then rebuild it afterwards. What a job! And what a gift! Finally, a steamer took over by towing the Luxor, to reach the bridge of the Concorde, on the 23rd of December 1833. But the story is not over. The obelisk was not erected in Paris until three years later. The original base represented baboons, who get up and raise their legs, revealing their sexes whose had been judged a little too prominent by the new king, Louis-Philippe. Therefore a new block of granite was ordered, to build a new pedestal for the obelisk. By the way, if you are visiting the Louvre Museum, the original base is displayed today in the Egyptian section. On the 25th of October 1836, finally everything was ready. More than 200,000 spectators were present at Place de la Concorde, to attend the show, and witness the rise of the obelisk. When the long mass come to a standstill, the royal family gathered on the balcony of the Hotel de la Marine, and applauded the amazing feat. Gold representations were engraved on the pedestal, three years later. They explained the complex machinery used to lower the obelisk, to transport it and then to raise it in Paris. But it was only in 1998, under the presidency of Jacques Chirac, that the obelisk was topped with a small pyramid covered with gold leaves, that we know today. To complete the 12,000 kilometers, the journey of the obelisk to Paris lasted more than two years. Without counting the year necessary to dismantle the monument, and the other three dedicated to its installation in Paris. The whole process took six long years. You now know how the obelisk became the oldest monument of Paris. If you have learned something today, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any Paris travel tips. Thank you for watching.